Gondola. We're gonna go do some World War One caves this morning. Harnessed in, helmets on, we got some lights. It's gonna be full on. There's our fearless leader. This is what we clip into. Oh, no. Throughout the First World War, this beautiful mountain range served as a key battlefield for the Italian and Austro-Hungarian armies. It was the Italian Alpini versus the Austrian Kaiser Jaeger for control of the northern frontier of the newly established modern Italy. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Clouds are starting to lift. The sun is starting to come out, heading down into the tunnels. For this high altitude combat, over 1,800 miles or 3,000 kilometers of trenches were dug up on the Italian side alone. While the Austrians bombed from above, the Italians set explosives down below. And yet, more people died from the cold and avalanches than the enemy itself. No, it doesn't make any sense. I mean, why, why in the mountains? Why couldn't they have just found a valley to fight them? Galleria. We're about to enter into the Galleria. 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 That means Galleria. tunnel. Galleria. Galleria. Yeah. Tunnel. Tunnel. <laughs> a labyrinth of caves carved into the mountains served as a pathway, a launch pad, and a resting place for over a half a million highly trained, unfortunate souls. We're in one of the most beautiful places on the planet, and at one point, for many people, it was also the most horrible. Mountain because they maybe they one. Out of the caves now. Man, I would not want to be here during the war. Three years in those caves. I'm happy with 15 minutes. Let's go. Okay, how is it? Via <laughs> Barata! <laughs> Next stop of the trip, we saw the World War I uh, caves and now we're on a chairlift, as you can see, up to Via Ferrata. We're gonna go see if we are allowed, weather permitting, if we're allowed to go up the mountain. Hopefully, hopefully, we will see. Okay, officially got the green light to try Via Ferrata. It's a little bit cloudy, a little bit foggy, but it seems like it's clear enough for us to make an attempt at trying to see some of these peaks. Nice little climb ahead of us. This is just the trail to start our climb. Pretty good little slope. Feeling the legs all before lunch. Let's get up there. And try to see through some of this fog. Via Ferrata, or Iron Road, are systems of cables and ladders that traverse some of the most stunning and otherwise inaccessible territory of northern Italy. Used to aid the movement of skilled troops in World War I, today they'll help an eager group of bumbling civilians climb through the clouds.
heart's pumping a little bit. That was a sheer straight up climb. We were all tied to each other and clipped in with carabiners, so safety first, but it'll still get your heart racing. Now the others have gone back down, and I'm trying to get a little bit more altitude before the rain comes in. So Marco and Filippo, our guides, have took the group down, then one of them's gonna come back up, and I'm gonna try to go up the mountain a little bit higher before this rain comes in. Let's go. Despite weather hindering what's said to be a breathtaking view of the Dolomites, I'm happy with reaching the top and knowing there's warm food waiting for me back at the lodge. For lunch, it's a thick ham and bean soup, finished with affogatos, a hot espresso drink with vanilla ice cream. And for dinner, it's a mouth-watering duck carpaccio, life-changing lasagna, a delicious veal filet over prosciutto wrap mashed potatoes, and a chocolate torte shaped like the landscape we just left behind. It is definitely a meal worth fighting for. Just maybe not up in the mountains. Don't step on the rope of Marco, as there is a way you have to pay another beer. So every time you step on the rope, and every time you use any, is a beer. So we are already two beer. We get drunk. <laughs> what do you got in there, buddy? <laughs> Where's the job I thought he was helping me out fixing my backpack. Ready? Set. Go! 